What's nice about this part of, of the trip is it's really scenic. That was pretty boring. Uh, kilometres and kilometres through industrial and accommodation residential areas. Now we've got a bit of green. I think soon I enter Bilbao, Bilbao. These are all still sort of suburbs, but they're not too bad. But I prefer mountains and rivers and stuff. So I got out of the horrible rubbishness of Porto Galete area. Now I'm up in the high farms. It's quite windy. Uh, it's quite nice here. Beautiful fields and hills with cows and stuff, but they're all sort of savaged by industry. This is like the key industry zone of North Spain, really. But you've got Bilbao over there. So I'm making my slow descent. It's all right, quite easy day. What well, was quite an easy day, it's got all of a sudden quite difficult because my days are finished with two mountains and you can never really prepare for them in your head when you see them on the map. I'm almost there, up and over. So I'm leaving Bilbao, uh, I've got a small day, only 11 kilometres, so I'm going to mosey around the centre for a bit and then carry on. It's only 11 kilometres to Lethama, uh, so yeah, very easy day, not much to show or report really. And the next two days, very difficult, a lot of mud. So yeah, Bilbao. weird to think that I kind of did a fair whacker this day accidentally as I was spending my morning wandering around Bilbao just having a coffee and some breakfast but now I'm leaving I've left the city now and I'm up and over this sort of small hill and then a few kilometers more I'm in my next town so it's a really short day of countryside uh, it's quite nice Stuff. More stuff to see. It's pretty lovely. Cold though. Despite the fact that it's asphalt, it's really quite a pleasant day. It's not very difficult. There's a bit of a breeze, it's not very cold. I'm walking through like pine forest with like little streams going down me. It all smells sort of fresh. And there's no one else here and it's really nice. Um, which is like the calm before the storm because I know tomorrow and the next day are going to be hell um, but I'm just savouring this <laughs> savouring this little relaxing part while it exists So I went through an impressively ugly Thamudio and got to La Thama, sort of a leafy dull suburb of Bilbao Another closed albergue, the building behind me. So I'm going to go to the church and see if they have any sort of stickers for apartments. That's what people seem to be doing, staying with people privately. So, see what happens. <laughs> right, I'm walking to the church now. Fingers crossed. Let's see if there's any paper. No. Brilliant. I spy with my little eye. Paper. Let's have a look. Nope. 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 Ah, crap. So I've walked all the way here. I don't really know 
what to do now because everything's closed. Can't find any information by the church. The number I was given, no one's picking up. So, two al two alternatives, two options. One, go into the bars and see if they know anything. Or two, maybe take the metro back to Bilbao or sleep there. Come back here tomorrow morning and then start again. See. So here's where I'm sleeping tonight. The town hall sent me here. It's far more expensive than I wanted to spend, I shan't say how much, but at least I have a place to rest my head and feet and bag. So yeah, that's the end of the day.